Hey guys, 7007 here, and today I'm going to be bringing you my Xbox 360 collection as the latest part for my video game collection series. Uh, I only have 17 360 games, but considering that they're more pricey than most, that's not bad. I don't have like all of the newest and best ones, but I do have some really good ones that I enjoy playing a lot. And this is not including, the 17 I have is not including <coughs> uh, arcade games. I do have several of those. And I'll name those later. Okay, so I'm going to show these to you right now. And then, as I usually do, take them into a better light. So here they are. There's not very many, like I said. Uh, now I'm going to show them to you individually. Okay, back down here. Here they all are, stacked like this. And now I'm going to show them to you individually. Now, just to go off about these a little more. Uh, this is the collection that I've bought the most for recently, other than NES. Uh, just because I got Xbox Live, and I've been really excited about the Xbox. Uh, and I've played it a lot more than all my other systems lately. I'll probably get over that very soon and start playing my other stuff more. Uh, but that is another reason, not only my wireless network being down half the time, but that's another reason why I took a big break from my Let's Plays, because I wanted to focus on this. So, uh, let's get going. Assassin's Creed. Uh, I like this game. A lot of people don't like that game. I don't mind it. I think it's kind of fun. It's worth it. It's easy achievements, and they're pretty fun. I don't like the whole future thing with it. Uh, a lot of people don't like that. Uh, but when you're actually playing as Altair, I think it's rather fun. Uh, Battlefield Bad Company. This is one of my favorite games. Uh, the online is really fun, and the campaign is super fun, too. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty much addicted to this game. I love it. I can't wait till Bad Company 2 comes out. Uh, Call of Duty 2. This one is very difficult to me. Uh, trying to play that one on Veteran, you might as well just shoot yourself in the head. Because you'll that'll be a lot more enjoyable. Call of Duty 3, I like slightly better. In fact, a good bit better than 2. Uh, it's just a little more fun, there's a little more variety in my opinion, you know, with the addition of vehicles, and there's better online play. Uh, so, yeah, I like that. I still, I was about to get Call of Duty 4 yesterday, but they were out, so I don't have that one yet. Uh, Eternal Sonata. Uh, this actually looks like a really interesting RPG. I've heard good and bad things about it, and it's kind of, most people don't know about it. Uh, I mean, they have it in GameStop and whatever, but most people still have never actually picked this up and tried to play it. <clears throat> I'm pretty excited about getting it. I just got it, so I don't know how good it is exactly. But it looks pretty interesting. And I can't wait to play it. I'm about to go play it in a little while, actually. Uh, Fable 2. Most of y'all know that uh, I love this game, except I'm starting not to be so keen on it. Because... There's my dog, by the way. <laughs> he just sort of wandered in there for a second. Uh, I'm not so keen on this one anymore because every time I do something in it, I've had to restart it. Uh, first, my <clears throat> Xbox broke. It overheated. I had to do all my stuff over again because I was using an internal memory unit to save it. Uh, then, the second time, my stuff got de deleted. Then, I had to go and play... When I, when I got my Xbox Live hooked up, it wouldn't let me play on the account I already had. So then I had to restart it again on the new account. And then I have almost all the achievements again on this account that I currently have. And then I use my friend's Not Whole Island DLC. And then it told me when I used my own that it wasn't the same one. And I couldn't do it. So I'm really pissed off at this game right now. But I will play it again, hopefully. At least this time I don't have to get all the stupid achievements again. But I will play this one again and finish it up. For good, most likely. Uh, Fear Files. Uh, I got this for 8 bucks, and that's about how much it's worth to me. It's like 25 in GameStop. It's not worth that much. It's like an expansion off of Fear, and it's not near as good. <clears throat> uh, Gears of War. I just picked this one up not long ago. I mean, I've obviously played it a whole lot, but... You know, it's really fun. I like Gears 2 Online a little bit better, but that one's good, too. I like playing the campaign and getting some achievements on it. Guitar Hero 3. I love Guitar Hero. It's still fun to me. Uh, I, I want to get the other ones for the system eventually, but not right now. 
Uh, I do love, you know, since I've only used it on PS2 before, I do like doing online and stuff with it. So, uh, the Halo 3 Limited Edition box set. This is obviously, you know, a really good game. The online's great. The campaign, I've played it so much, I'm almost sick of it, but it's good even the first three or four times you play through it. So, yeah. <clears throat> and I have some tutorial videos on the skulls and uh, a couple other achievements on this one if you want to look at those. Uh, Last Remnant, I picked this up uh, about a week after it came out, actually. Uh, it's not the greatest RPG, and it's very interesting. It's almost like an RTS slash RPG, and of course it's by Square Enix, that's why I picked it up. Uh, I I haven't played it enough. I've, I, I couldn't really get into it. I want to so badly. It's not actually that bad to me. It got bad reviews, but I like it. Uh, but yeah, I look forward to playing more of that. I just, I can't ever get into it completely. <clears throat> I do want to try, there's only a couple other, like, I want to get Star Ocean, because that actually is supposed to be decent. And then, uh, Infinite and Undiscovery, I'm not so sure about, because it hasn't exactly gotten the best reviews. But it is a Square game, and I like to have all the Square games, whether I like them or not, really. I like most of them, though, at least a little. Perfect Dark Zero, this game sucks ass, don't buy it. Uh, it was like eight bucks, or no, it was like five bucks actually, and this was one of the first ones that came out. I like the first Perfect Dark on N64, but that one just sucks. I don't, I've never met one person that likes it. Uh, Madden 07, you know, it's Madden, whatever. I wanted to have at least one sports game on there. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Now this one got decent reviews, but I actually really like this game. Uh, I've played through about half of it maybe. And I think it's very fun. It's good co-op. Uh, and I like the, the amount of heroes that's in it. Especially if you get the DLC pack with more heroes. It's very good. Seen it. This is very easy achievements. And it's a pretty fun party game <clears throat> to play. Uh, Sega Superstar Tennis and the Xbox Live Arcade. Which comes with Feeding Frenzy, Pac-Man Championship Edition, Uno, Boom Boom Rocket, and Luxor 2. All good arcade games. So those are all the arcade games. Don't even, I'm not even including those in my collection. And then this I picked up for a dollar at GameStop for the easy achievements, which is Sneak King. And if you don't know what that is, it is a Burger King game that they came out with a few years ago. It can be played on the original or 360 Xbox. So that's all of my Xbox 360 collection. And I do add more games quite frequently to this one. And I will start doing it even more now since that's what I'm into the most right now. And there's still several ones that I want to get. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Most likely, I will have a Genesis collection next. So, thanks for watching.